Hi, I'm Corey Rich, Nikon Ambassador. In this last episode, we're going to switch over to the computer and walk through the Key Mission 360 170 utility software. This software is free to download and available for Mac or PC and can be found on the Nikon website in the Download Center. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to get all of the files you've shot on your Key Mission 360 onto your computer. You can simply remove the micro SD card from the camera and plug it directly into your computer or card reader. Otherwise, you can leave the micro SD card inside the camera and instead use the USB cable, the same cable you use for charging your camera, which came with your camera. Just attach the camera to the computer using the USB cable. Open the Key Mission 360.17 utility app and navigate to the library on the left side of the screen to locate the micro SD card. Expand the DCIM folder and here you'll find all of the images and videos that you've shot. Select either a video or a still image from the library. It'll pop up in the main center screen. There are two main modes within the program, play and edit, which are located at the top of the screen. Note there's also a tab here for set, which allows you to change your camera settings when you connect your camera directly to your computer. Click on the play tab, which allows you to play back files in a number of ways. At the most basic level, you can choose to play the video by clicking the play button at the bottom of the window. Feel free to play around and interact with the full 360 functionality of the video. Click and drag your mouse around the video to see in 360. Notice in the upper right corner of the screen, there's a view window. This shows the entire clip only flattened. In this window, there's also a cross that moves along with you as you scroll in the video. This cross corresponds to where you're viewing within the clip. To return to the front lens, click the home button. You can also change the way you view the file by using the controls just above the video. You can zoom in and out of your video. You can also enter a side-by-side -side view that shows you what the front lens has captured right next to what the rear lens has captured. You can also change the aspect ratio and change the playback speed with a variety of settings from half to five times. If you've mounted your camera upside down, there's a way to flip it 180 degrees by clicking the toggle. To edit the video, choose the Edit tab, which is located on the top part of the screen. Notice a new menu pops up on the right-hand side of the screen. There are a number of features here. You can trim files by setting beginning and end points to trim and shorten your clips. This button saves individual frames as still images. You can add special effects and background music. You can save the video for YouTube, which we'll do here in a second. You can edit any highlight tags that you've saved. And you can create a movie digest, which is an edited version of your video with only the highlight tags clipped together. Okay, let's save our video for either YouTube or Facebook. Again, these are the only social platforms currently supporting full 360 functionality, and they're the best ways currently to share your video with your friends and family. Make sure you're in the Edit tab and choose Save for YouTube on the Edit menu, which is on the right side of the window. A dialog box will appear asking you to save the video. I'll enter a file name and choose a place to save it. That's it. The file saves with the proper metadata for both YouTube and Facebook. Now the video is ready to be uploaded, which is easy enough to do if you're familiar with these platforms. Of course, if you don't have a YouTube channel yet, you'll have to create a Google account in order to then create your own YouTube channel. You can always choose to make your YouTube channel private. This allows you to only share your videos with people that you know. We're just at the beginning of one of the most exciting new technologies for visual storytelling that I've ever seen. We're right at the cusp of changing how we share stories, important moments, and events in our lives, from birthday parties to soccer games to weddings, and also how our families and friends are going to view and experience those moments. They're going to be able to interact in a whole new way the potential for what it means to shoot in 360 is unlimited. Now it's up to you to go out there and start pushing the limits. Thanks for listening.